Hello there, we're here at the Anishinaabeg Health Conference 2017 and I'm here with Mary Elliott who has just taken 30 ladies through a wonderful cedar bath and shared some of the teachings about why it's important for women to consider self-care as part of their daily lives. So thank you for joining us, Mary. So Mary, can you talk about the cedar bath? What is, what is the significance of the cedar water? Well, the cedar bath is really, uh, it started with an elder a long time ago, and um, she wanted to help women that were being victimized or were victimized. And so it was a way of helping them go through that healing process. Mm -hmm. And I always acknowledge her because she's she's gone on now to the spirit. She's made her spirit journey, and but she was the one that actually brought back the seed of bath for for the people. Um, this particular one that we did this afternoon, it was basically to take care of ourselves, to make sure that we can find that center, and and continue to do the work that we've been asked to do by our creator, by our agencies, um, you know. And our role as women, because majority of us were women here, um, we have an awesome responsibility. And sometimes we forget to take care of ourselves. And to see how rejuvenated the women were following this, the Cedar Bath really, really helps me. And I'm thankful for, for what I've been taught regarding that Cedar. Mm -hmm. You could really feel some of the release, some of the emotional release that people Absolutely. were experiencing. It's very yeah. uh, powerful to, mm -hmm. uh, to come together. Now, may I ask, how is the cedar water, how do you create the cedar water? Well, this particular one here is, uh, um, believe it or not, I, I had to go snowshoeing to go and get cedar because oh <laughs> I didn't want to sink into the snow. And whereabouts were you snowshoeing? I was uh, back home in my home community of the Tikmikshing and Anishinaabeg and uh, so I went snowshoeing to go and get the cedar and then um, I prepared the cedar water at home before I came here and then um, my, my I called them Kachupal Kwewa and my helpers. Mm -hmm. um, they helped me prepare to, to get ready for this for this day, but it, that cedar is uh, you know, always, always we use this. We always give thanks to the Creator, to our Mother the Earth, for that medicine, uh, the cedar. In our language, we call it Ishkanda, and we always give thanks for that medicine uh, because we're asking that medicine to help heal the people. Uh, and this is one way that we do that. So, so that was a, that's remarkable that it started the the cedar. So are you distilling the the cedar and are you, are you distilling the like the essence of the cedar from the extracting it? No. See when I when I take that when I give tobacco, I'm asking that cedar to help cleanse and heal the women or the people that were here. You know? And we, what we do is basically we just boil the, the cedar, okay? Not for a long time, you know, because we don't we don't uh, we don't need that cedar water to be super dark. Um, but we, <coughs> when we use it, you know, as as we've witnessed here, you know, some of them realize that they need they need to do more self care mm -hmm. based on you know what they see in their cedar mm -hmm. cedar bath. Mm -hmm. And we had the opportunity to try cedar tea, which was my first time trying cedar tea. It has a beautiful flavor. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that opportunity as well today. So did you create, did you bring the, the water for the cedar tea as well? No, no, we just, uh, well, I, I mean, I, I just, you can, some people will use spring water. Uh, some people will use distilled water. It mm. depends on how they feel. Uh, I personally just took water from the tap, and I, you know, yes. so it depends on how how one feels they need to to do it. Right. So, but. so, do you have cedar when you um, create the tea? Are you does is there cedar in the bottom of like say a teapot, and then you just pour it over it? No, you boil the cedar. You boil but the cedar as, as well. Okay. You, you have to pray. Okay. You pray for the cedar. 
to do its work. You're praying for the water because we know water is life. Mm -hmm. We're always offering our tobacco in Thanksgiving and because they're, they're giving something of us and we need to reciprocate that. And we do that by praying and we do that by offering the tobacco. Mm -hmm. so. I appreciated that story that you shared about your uncle that would take, when he would go down to the river or down to the water's edge, that we need to be reminded um, to offer our thanks mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. to infuse ourselves with the power. With that medicine wheel, you know, that um, you could put, I mean, if you want okay. to. wheel what makes up each human being okay. that mental physical emotional and spiritual and we we need to work to take care of, of those four quadrants and, and if we don't do that with one then it's going to weaken the rest mm -hmm. and the example that I use sometimes is that the, it's the physical aspect that I guess gets gets uh, more, uh, I don't know what the word is, worn, I guess, mm -hmm. because then, you know, we get sick, mm -hmm. or sometimes uh, people will break out in acne, or, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because we, we're not balancing, or we're not nurturing all four of those mm -hmm. quadrants of, our, of who we are. Mm -hmm. So it's important to really do that. So, and this is one way. It was, it's one way, and it, it was an effective way to center yourself, to remind yourself Absolutely. that we need to stop, just stop for a few minutes and mm -hmm. center ourselves and give thanks to Creator for all, all that we have. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Mary. I really appreciate this, and um, I thank you for bringing your teachings here today. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Be quiet. Mm -hmm.